Magandang araw mga kalibor, mga kamason at kakarpintero. Very excited ako for this episode dahil tatalahayin natin kung paano mag-estimate ng reinforced concrete. Excited ka na? Okay, tara, umpisahan na natin. So, first is, ano ba ang concrete? Okay, concrete is a construction material composed of cement, fine aggregate, or sand, and coarse aggregates mixed with water which hardens with time. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang uh, klase ng concrete. So, meron tayong plain concrete. So, plain concrete is consist of cement, water, fine aggregates, or sand, and coarse aggregates. Then, the other one is yung reinforced concrete natin. So, meron tayong cement, water, fine aggregates, coarse aggregates, and of course, reinforcing bars. Yes! So, pag-usapan natin kung ano ba yung mga materialis sa reinforced uh, concrete natin. So, first, let's start with cement. So, marami pa lang... Uh, klase ng simento. No? Meron tayong ordinary, rapid, sulfate, low heat, Portland, Pozzolan. So, but for this, ep for this uh, sa mga episode natin, let's just focus sa ordinary Portland cement. Okay? Then, next uh, materials is the aggregates. So, meron tayong coarse aggregates. Ito yung mga crash gravel uh, na ang laki is 5mm pataas. Okay? So, let's uh, familiar naman tayo sa G1, 3 fourth and 3 eighth. So, G1, madalas ginagamit natin sa ayun, mga gravel bedding or dito sa paghalo sa slab on field and sa mga foundation like footing. Okay. Then, 3 fourth ginagamit natin sa mga suspended slab, columns, okay, beams, dahil mas maliit sila, mas, mas, uh, mas madali silang uh, i-mix okay, o haluin sa, sa mga forms at sa mga bahal. Okay, 3-8, madalas ginagamit sa mga masonry works like stiffener columns, mga booths sa stiffener columns, saka sa lintel beams. Okay, next is fine aggregates. Okay, ito yung mga crushed gravel or uh, natural gravel na 5mm, mas maliit sa 5mm. Okay, so nandyan yung fibro at saka white sand. Okay, next Materi uh, materials natin is yung water. Okay? So, any clean water will do. Then, first, reinforcing bar. So, reinforcing bar, meron tayong uh, madalas kinagamit is grade 33, grade ASTM grade 40, and ASTM grade 60. So, may tawag din sa kanila na PNS grade 230, 275, 415. So, these numbers uh, pertain sa minimum yield strength ng bahal. So, in megapascal yan. So, meron din tayong color coding. Then, may mga sizes natin, 10 to 25. Then, 10 to 36 pag grade 60. So, actually, ginagamit namin palagi grade 40 for 10 and 12 mm. Then, grade 60 for 16 to 36. So, ang difference lang naman ito is uh, maliit lang in terms of price. So, we just go with grade 40 sa mga 10 to 12. Then, uh, 16 pataas, grade 60. But it's up to you kung ano yung nasa spec ng plano nyo. Okay, then of course, pag nag-estimate tayo, na, dapat napaka-importante na alam natin yung commercial length na mabibili nating haba ng baha sa labas. So, meron tayong 6 meters, 7.5, 9, 10.5, at 12 meters. For this ano um, episode, hindi natin may mapapakita yung paano mag-estimate uh, ng baha. So, episode, episode 4 natin to gagawin. Then, ano ba ang concrete mixture mix ratio? Okay, introduce natin itong table 1. May class mixture tayo, double A, A, B, C. Then, may proportion na nakalagay. This is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. Mamaya, pag-usapan natin yan. Then, meron tayong multiplying factor, like yung sa ginawa natin nung episode 2. Okay, then may probable compressive strength tayo after 28 days. Ito yung mga target natin na... Uh, target natin na uh, compressive strength. For example, ang double A mixture, ang, ang compressive strength niya after 28 days is 4,000. So, ito yung mga um, for beams, suspended beams, columns. Okay? Then, for 3,000 to 2,500 mga foundation like uh, footing 
and uh, slab on fill. Okay. Okay. Let's proceed with the next slide. So next slide natin is ano ba uh, class double A. So one part cement, one point five part of sand, and three part of gravel. So for example, we have one cement, forty kg bag dito. Ilang oh, which is equivalent sa 0.0277 cubic meter and uh, this one is ratio in proportion in terms of volume okay so ang lalagyan natin idadagdag natin sand is one full plus half full of sand using this box okay ang box nito is may dimension ng 0.3 by 0.3 by 0.3 with a dimension of 0 0.027 so almost equal sila okay then ilang part of gravel of course three full of gravel yan Okay, then water. Okay, so water, uh, wala talagang dami ng tubig. Okay, pero kapag uh, dahil familiar na rin naman yung mga tao gumagawa niya, minsan alam na nila kung, kung class AA, kung ilan tubig ang, ang idadagdag. And lalo na kapag nasa batching plant, alam na alam, kalkuladong kalkulado na nila yan. Basta, just make sure na hindi siya super daming tubig. Okay, dahil ma mawawala or mawawash out lang yung cemento natin at saka yung sand natin which is bababa or malilesen yung ano yung integrity ng halo natin. Okay? Then okay. Quiz lang tayo. For example, 3 bags of of uh, 40 kg cemento ang ipapahalo. So ilang sand ang idadagdag? Very good. 4 full plus half full of sand using this box, okay? And ilang graba? Yes, very good. 9 full of gravel. Okay? Parang times 3 mo lang. Okay? Times 3 mo lang itong dalawa. Itong tatlo pa lang. Okay. Next slide tayo. Paano ba mag-estimate ng cement, sand, and gravel for concreting works? Okay. So, table 1. Ito. Balik natin to. So, ito yung mga formula natin. So, so number of bags of cement. Volume of concrete. So, napaka-importante na alam natin yung volume ng concrete na bubuhusan natin times multiplying factor sa table 1. So, ito, pipili ka lang. First, identify mo yung class mixture. Then, identify natin yung volume of concrete. Then, titignan mo na lang dito kung ilan yung multiply mo sa volume. Same goes with sand and gravel. Volume of concrete times 0.5. Eh, actually, ito 0.5 naman lahat. So, hindi ka na mali dito. Mapaklas double A to C. 0.5 lang yan. Dito naman sa gravel is 1. Okay. Next slide is, so, syempre, sample estimate tayo guys. Okay. Meron tayong footing and column. So, let's say, let's use class A mixture sa footing. Ang class A mixture is 1 is to 4 and 9.5 and 1. But first, we have to identify or compute for the volume of the footing. So, 1.2 times 1.2 times 0.25 thickness ng footing. Meron tayong 0.36 cubic meter. So, let's compute the number of cement bags. So, volume times 9. Okay. So, 3.24, let's say 4 bags. Quantity of sand is volume times 0.5. So, that's 0.15. Quantity of gravel is volume times 1. So, 0.36 times 1 is 0.36 cubic meter. Napakadali lang, di ba? So, let's, for for column naman, uh, use class AA mixture for column. Okay, so, dito tayo. Dito tayo titingin sa column na to. Okay, so volume, but first we have to uh, compute for the volume of column. Um, yung poste. Okay. Volume of the uh, poste is 0 0.2 times 0 0.4 times yung height, which is 2.5 meters. Okay. So, that's 0 0.2 cubic meter. Okay. Number of cement bags, volume 0 0.2 times 12 is 2.4. Uh, let's say 3 bags. Okay. Quantity of sand, volume 0 0.2 times 0 0.5 that's 0.10. Then, for gravel, volume times 1. 0.2 times 1 is 0.2. Diba? Napakadali lang. Basta, identify kung anong class mixture. Identify yung volume ng structure. Then, i-multiply mo lang dito sa mga multiplying factor natin sa table. 
Okay. So, if you remember, uh, meron tayong project na uh, 180 square meter na kinatayuan natin ng fence. Okay. So, this one, uh, i-hide muna natin to. So, this one, nakalagay na yung, kung i-check natin yung dimension ng footing one. So, meron tayong 15 meters, 0.25 meters yung uh, thickness, 0.45 yung uh, width niya. So, same lang siya nito, itong isa, okay, 15.45 tsaka 0.25. Then, footing number 3 is 11.10 by 0.45 by 0.25 in thickness. Okay, then, the last one is itong footing na to. Okay, so after mabuhusan yan, matambakan, then gagawin natin itong maliit na to. So, ang length niya is 7.5. 0.25 and 0.45 okay so dito na ilagay ko na siya lahat footing 1, 2, 3, 4 15 by 0.45 by 0.25 total volume is 1.69 then makukuha na natin yung number of cement, number of sand number of aggregates, so use class A, so i-multiply natin siya ng 9, 0.5 and 1 so nandito na yung total ang total niya is 49.21 or let's say 50 Okay, this one is 2.73, let's say 2.75, this one is 5, let's say 5.5 na yan. Okay, then may price tayo, 250 per bag, then 400 uh, per cubic, then 1,150 per cubic then sa aggregates. So, G1 ang gagamitin natin. Okay, then for column, uh, okay, wait. For column naman, halos pare-parehas lang sila din. 0.3 by 0.2 by 3.6. Okay. So, um, ang height niya from from uh, finish uh, finish uh, elevation sa sa labas is 2 meters lang. Yung taas ng fence natin. So, 1.6 yung nakalubog niya. Okay, so 3.6, ilang post ito? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then, ito mas maliit siya. 2.45 by 0.15 by 0.3. So, dito, naka, ano na rin, column 1, 15 columns, diba? 0 0.2, 0 0.4 by 3.6. Ito yung volume niya. Okay, makukumpit ko na yung cement, sand, and aggregates. So, I'll, I'll be using 3 fourth aggregates for, for this one. Okay. Column. Column 2. Isang column lang yan. So, summation. So, 40. Let's say 41. Then, this one is 2.25. Okay. And 4.5. Okay. So, wow. 10,000 for cement. 900 for white sand. And 5,000 for aggregates. Okay. Punta tayo sa summary. Okay. Kung sa episode 1, nagkamali ako ng price. Okay. May correction ako sa price dito. Nilagay ko sa episode 1, ang price niya is 6 pesos. So, forgive me, mali yung naibigay kong price. Then, sa so ordinary sand, then, nali din ako. So, I think 8.50 yung naibigay ko. But, nag-double check ako ng mga pricing. is 400 lang for ordinary sand. And, hindi tayo gagamit ng vibro. Ordinary sand lang ang gagamitin natin for for CHB mortar tsaka sa mga footing and uh, boost ng column. Okay. So, yun. Makikita nyo na for CHB, uh, 22,000 CHB mortar. Ito yung mga gastos. Wall footing, ito yung gastos natin. Fence, ito yung gastos natin sa columns. So, total of 92,300. So, hindi pa natin na isasama yung uh, mga bakal, labor, at saka formworks and um, ano ba ba? earthworks okay yung mga hukay uh, gravel bedding trimming etc okay so this one makikita niyo yung mga price na pinagtanungan ko so dahil base kami sa Pampanga so itong mga nakuha kong pricing is uh, malapit lang dito and and kukuha kumuha ako ng one truck load okay so mas makakamura kayo Compared if bibili kayo ng pa 1 elf lang sa mga hardware. 
Okay? Dahil, uh, pwede nyo naman bagsakan yung site nyo ng one track load eh. Dahil marami naman pang gagamitan yan. But of course, nandiyan yung planning. Dapat maayos kung saan nyo dapat itatambak yung mga gamit nyo. Okay? Then, for example, sa CHB din, 12 pesos. Ang minimum niya is 2,600 pesos. So, magagamit mo naman lahat yan. Okay? Then, ayun. So, ordinary sign, 400 lang per cubic. So, minimum niyan is almost 36 cubic meter or one truck load. Ito yung malaking truck talaga. Ibabagsak nyo sa'yo. Okay? So, yun. Um, 92,324 na yung gastos natin. So, please comment below kung sa tingin nyo magkano aabutin natin sa para matapos yung yung ating fence project. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, ayun. Uh, ha. So, sa next episode natin, uh, tatalakay naman natin yung um, how to estimate yung yung mga bakal. Okay? Masarap. Na, uh, very enjoy. Nakaka-enjoy itong pag-estimate ng uh, mga bakal. Eh, yung mga cutting list. Okay? So, natapos na naman itong isang episode na to. So, kung nagustuhan nyo itong episode na ito, please, please, subscribe to this channel, Pinoy Construct Ideas. Para sa mga update, para ma-update kayo for for the coming videos na ma-upload namin. So, if you have any question or request or correction sa mga videos na nagawa ko, please leave your comments below at basa, babasahin ko po lahat yan. So, again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Sana marami, may natutunan kayo. At ako, may natutunan ako dahil nire-review ko ulit yan. So, let's all pray na mawala na itong NCOV na ito. And gumaling lahat ng mga may sakit. And God bless us all. Thank you guys. Thank you.